Hi everyone, my name is Anthony Colas, and I'll present our work on efficient deployment of conversational natural language interfaces over databases. And this work was done with Trung, Frank, Momita, and Jusu at Adobe Research. So using chatbots makes it easier to access information contained in structured databases without requiring one to know a query language such as Sparkle or SQL. However, in order to train these chatbots effectively, one would need the natural language and query language question pairs. So then our, our goal is then to accelerate the data collection process for the use in natural language to query language models in the conversational space. So let's take an example of the natural language to query language um, task. So suppose you have a question, what does the load swatches dialog do? So the qu corresponding query language in Sparkle would be something like this. And then it would query the knowledge graph. Oh, this is a snippet of the knowledge graph that it would query uh, for the answer. So some related work. So there's two sp um, types of related work. One is in the natural language to query language domain, and the other is in the data collection for semantic parsing space. In the natural language to query language domain, we experiment with uh, the data that we generated from our data collection uh, process using the models introduced by Finnegan, Dolek, et al. in this task, in the natural language to query language task. And the data collection for semantic parsing space, uh, there's been some work on single turn question answering semantic parsers and some initial work by Saha et al. on multi-turn. However, in their work, they use the logical form representation and we use executable queries. Also in our method, we reincorporate our paraphrases into the dialogue generation phase. And I'll explain that. So let's talk about the data collection. So we start with three inputs, the domain ontology, which defines the triples of a given data set, the lexicon, which defines each data field along with the natural language and query language representation, and then the database, which is the data in structured form. So we feed this into the logical form dialog generator to, to um, generate our logical form, our dialog logical forms. So here's an example with the compute inquiry property and another compute logical form. This is, this is a three-turn dialog. And then we take this along with natural language query language templates into the natural language query language generator in order to generate natural language query language pairs. So here an example of a natural language, here we can see an example of a natural language and query language template for the compute logical form. So natural language, um, in natural language, it's how many blank blank have is equal to blank, where blank is just where we would instantiate our templates. So here we instantiate it with dialogues, open by, and select load selection. And this is taken from the initial input. Then finally, we feed this into our paraphrase uh, module, where we paraphrase the natural language career language pairs, we abstract them to create templates, and then we feed, and then we add these to our template bank and feed them back into the natural language query language generator process. So this is iteratively, so we can do this n number of times. So um, now I'll talk about the logical form dialog generator. There's three types of generic logical forms. The first is retrieve objects, next is inquire property, and then compute. Retrieve objects just gets objects from the knowledge graph, inquire property gets a property, gets an object's property, and compute is just an aggregate function or a computation. In our case, we just use count in, in this work, but we can expand it for uh, other operations. So here's a, here are the examples in natural language and also the logical form. Also, um, worth mentioning is that in order to generate the dialogues, uh, we do so such that the next utterances are related to the previous ones. So in this two-turn dialogue example, we first ask, can you explain the match font dialogue where we ask about the definition? And then in the second turn, we ask, how about free dialogue? And then we relate these two by, by, by the definition property. So the second one can be translated to something like, how about free dialogue definition? But it's implicit in this case. Next, I'll talk about collecting the paraphrases via AMT. So we asked Amazon Mechanical Turk workers to paraphrase C templates. So we give them C templates, and then we ask them, um, to paraphrase these uh, questions. And then we abstract the paraphrase questions, linking them to the logical form representation. So once they paraphrase the, the uh, natural language questions, 
you abstract them and link them to logical forms. And then we can use these paraphrases in subsequent or next or other uh, iterations of our natural language query language generator step. So then we experiment in two domains, Photoshop and Web Analytics. Photoshop is Sparkle-based and Web Analytics is SQL. And for Photoshop, we have 288 templates and Web Analytics 73 templates. So now I'll go over an example data in the Photoshop domain. So we got our Photoshop data from the Photoshop Knowledge Graph, which is both from the Photoshop Wiki. And uh, here's an example snippet of this um, Photoshop Knowledge Graph for the uh, layer entity, and we can see the relations and properties around it. So an example triple would be layer, delete, delete a layer or group, where delete is a relation, delete a layer or group is a property. And this property corresponds to a link of hub delete um, a layer or uh, it's a link of explaining how to delete the layer. So now I'll go over an example dialog in the Photoshop domain. So let's say question was, what tool can I use to clone an object? The system then would respond, try the clone stamp tool. Then um, the user can then say, can I see the tool shortcut, meaning the clone stamp tool shortcut. System says yes, it has shortcut S. And then the user um, would ask another question, is there a way to dynamically set the sources for that tool? And the system will return the answer of a video or a URL explaining how to do so. So in this dialog, the clone stamp tool is passed along as a tool um, that the user refers to in the second and third um, utterance of the dialog. So now we'll look at the models and evaluation that we used. So we used two models that Finnegan, Dolek at all used. The first is just a sequence to sequence model with attention. Um, so um, here we have the input is a natural language question, and the output's just, in this example, um, it's a SQL, but it's a query language question. The second one, which was developed by Finnegan Dolak et al., um, is template-based. So here again, the input is a natural language question, and these, um, this model will, will output two things. The first one is a template ID, and the second is a slot value. So the template ID is just a not query is just a query language template, where everything here except the um, red part is part of the template, and then the slot value is just what that uh, template is filled in with, which here it's PS entity zero. So in this example, it recognizes that photos is the slot value. So the green part is also part of the template, but it's what makes this template unique. So now I'll talk about the results on our synthetic data set. So our models, base, our models are based on synthetic data generated by the dialog generator. But with the dialog, gener dialog generator, we're going to be able to accelerate this data collection process and quickly deploy an ML to QL system. And then later, we can uh, retrain the uh, model with more data collected from real users. But um, the number of data pairs we use for Photoshop is 2,100 and Web Analytics 3,504. We do a 90-10 split and evaluate using exact match. And we see that sequence to sequence outperforms template-based in both cases. So then in future work, we want to develop a sequential multi-turn conversational model because in for our in our experiments, we only did single turn. However, we do have the data for multi-turn conversations. Um, and also we want to collect real examples after deploying such as what Ayer et al. did, um, where they deployed three stages, each stage um, augmented with, um, from, with uh, user feedback with, that um, was collected in their initial deployment or from their initial deployment. Thank you.